buy it cheap and safe NBA 2K22 MT at NBA2King.com. You can use code EXCAPAR, that's E X C A P A R, for 5% off your entire purchase. All right, a new season is here, which means we got to make another video showing you guys the best way to move up to level 40 as quick as possible. So, Let's just get into it. If you guys are excited, the like button down below, comment what you guys think, and subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. So we actually have some pretty cool stuff. Now, I'm not 100% sure how much XP is involved in here, but looking at it, you are going to be able to get uh, fairly close to actually snagging Josh Giddy um, off on day one, but I think it'll probably take most people probably till next week if you do every single challenge, but there's still some pretty cool stuff um, that's going on here. So, be, so it's gonna be pretty fun. I think it's gonna be uh, overall pretty cool. So the first thing that we always gotta talk about, I gotta mention it, um, even though some people, you know, understand that it's the case. Daily challenges are probably the biggest thing that you can do to make sure that you're getting your XP up. Uh, for example, this one right here, we have 100 for craft a shoe, apply a badge for 100, win a game for 100, and grade a card for 150. Now, you can hit level 40 without doing your daily challenges, and I know that 450 XP just doesn't sound like something that's a lot of XP, but if we go ahead and uh, just look, it says 41 days. So if we take 450 XP and multiply that by 41, 18,450 XP. Now you're going to get it done before 41 days. Um, but for example, if you just got 45, 450 XP for like 20 days, for example, that's still 9,000 XP that would push you if we just look at the uh, normal XP amounts that push you all the way because it's exactly 9,000 just under level 20, which is just huge uh, to see. And with that, there's also the weekend warrior XP. So there's actually quite a bit of XP, you know, in these ones as well that a lot of people tend to neglect. Like this one, there's 1850 um, XP right there. I'm pretty sure actually all of these are going to be yeah. So these first two are 1850, which is um, a total of 37,000 XP or 33,700. I can't speak today. Uh, and then this next one, you can see that first one is 750. Then we have the first two are 750. Then we got 12, 1,250, and then another fat 2,000, which is 7,700 XP. Do these over a few weekends. Again, near 20,000 XP they're going to be getting. Now, the big ticket ones are going to come from the Zero Gravity and the Zero Gravity Premier XP, which you're pretty good, much going to want to focus on. For most people, what I recommend is avoid doing the uh, Dark Matters unless you pull packs. Uh, if you pull packs and can get these cards, obviously do them. But if you can't get the Dark Matters, just ignore, pretend that they don't exist or only pick up the super cheap ones. That's personally what I do. And I just kind of focus on the opals and below. So picking up these guys, you know, making 25 threes, 90 points with David Thompson, 90 points uh, with Jason Richardson. You got 15 dunks with Aaron Gordon. A lot of these are going to be um, scoring challenges. But if you can pick somebody up like this Dennis Smith Jr. and making sure that you're passing it to some of these guys, you can make sure that you're working on both of these at the same time. That's the number one tip that you can do. Stack XP challenges. Because once you finish that, you can head over here. Um, and these ones are, you know, just get 500 points, make sure you get 20 in a single game, make sure you get 150 assists, 5 in a single game, make sure you get 100 rebounds, 5 in a single game, make sure you get 15 blocks and 10 steals, and then you can finish the challenge. And overall, these are actually really good amounts of XP um, that you can kind of duo up together um, and have some fun with. What I personally recommend is pick up a point guard, for example, that'd be Dennis Smith Jr., pick up a guy who you just like scoring with, um, for me, that'd be like uh, Jalen Brown, another cheap guy, which is probably going to be this Kenny Walker. And then just run out there and do a game of triple threat offline and just pass it. <laughs> and you have three guys who are going to be getting assists, rebounds, steals, blocks, points all at the same time out there in triple threat offline. You can be doing triple threat online if you want to get those rewards a little bit more. And it makes this grinding maybe not better, but a little bit less annoying to do uh, is pretty much what we should say. I mean, overall, it's pretty good. If you do pick up some uh, packs or from the locker code, you get lucky. Um, you get maybe an original owner Amethyst. You can get three dunks and five assists, uh, three dunks and three rebounds. Uh, if you get a diamond, if you get a pink diamond, three dunks and a block. If you get one of the opals, real lucky, three dunks and 30 points. And if you are insanely lucky, you get some dark matters, you can get a double-double uh, with one of those, which is pretty fun. So make sure whatever you get on those you know, locker code packs, or if you pull a few packs, um, just see what you can get. Don't neglect these challenges down here, because even if you get an Amethyst, you can still, you know, get 500 XP um, right there that can really uh, kind of boost yourself up. And then there's also going to be a Zero Gravity Spotlight, um, which gives you all of these, 
you know, cars. So make sure as you're going on throughout these, you know, levels, you're picking up obviously these cards. Make sure that you do both of the challenges that are available. So the first one is in the season six rewards here. You get John Morant, the free agent, get two dunks with him, and you're done. Westbrook, just get a double double. Dwayne Wade, 25 assists. You have 50 points with uh, Devin George. You have 30 rebounds with Udonis Haslam, 100 points with Luis Scola, and 33 pointers with Detlef Shrimp. Make sure that you know, when you're doing these challenges as well, you head off into the zero gravity spotlight because you can see with level one job, you just have to complete the challenge uh, with Westbrook. You'll probably have to do something with Westbrook. You have to do something with Wade, with George, with Haslam, with Luis Golan, with Detlef Shrimp with a certain amount of, you know, time limit. It'll be like, you know, five minute quarters, three minute quarters, a 60 point triple threat. Make sure that you also do these because it's just free XP. And most of the time, these challenges down here um, actually have a decent bit. Look at that. You finish this, you get 100 tokens, uh, which is absolutely insane. Um, you also you know, get 10 tokens there. You get a, a zero gravity pack, which is always nice. 25 tokens for finishing Luis Scola. You get a shoe boost pack and you get a, a Hall of Fame badge option pack, which is the same badge option pack that you get at level 39. So you can see and plan ahead what Hall of Fame badge you want to get. But it also just gives you a bunch of, you know, XP and things like that. The other thing that I love about this season is we have some tip off, you know, XP. They've brought back the My Team wins and we have token market XP, which is huge. Uh, for the season six tip off, these are just like kind of random bip and bops, you know, challenges that they found. Uh, for example, 20 points, 10 assists, three offensive rebounds with a center, seven threes and triple throw, triple throw online game, 20 points in a game. Those literally can go together. 20 and 10 assists. Um, you can do one of those triple threat challenges. Uh, just win a multiplayer or play a multiplayer. You don't have to win it. Just play a multiplayer game. Win a game by seven. Score 40 points with a ruby player. Shooting guard, 21 points with a shooting guard. You can also do that with the 20 points in the paint. Um, you can also do that with the seven threes, like it all works. Uh, two three pointers with an emerald player, two free throws with an amethyst. Like all of these challenges are just ones that you can kind of slowly finish off until you get down to the bottom here. Uh, for example, um, this one right here, 13 gold players with a win. That's gonna be a little bit more difficult, but if you pick a challenge, um, like generally um, these challenges right here, the uh, skill challenges, whenever you do those, um, this has the March hol holographic challenge, but th there'll be a challenge eventually in here, which um, you'll be, for example, 12 threes with a team. Once you hit 12 threes, it's done. And as long as you can, you know, have 13 gold players out there and hit 12 threes, the challenge will finish and you'll be good as long as you're leading. Now, obviously you don't want to do that one, but for example, last season, there was one with 16 rebounds. You can get 16 rebounds with a gold, you know, players and make sure that you're leading and you'll be all good right there. The other one that I love is this my team wins, just play games. If you guys want to, you know, do the most fast, quick, you know, easy to play method, Make sure you do triple threat offline or triple threat online and 200 games will not be a breeze, but will be a little bit quicker than maybe unlimited in clutch time and things like that. So if you play triple threat, those are going to be guaranteed quick games. And if you wanted to, you know, speed up maximum efficiency, you can go ahead and do these. But it's definitely, I guess, more effective to kind of just play throughout the season, have some fun and just get there when you get there. But again, if you wanted to speed run it, you could do that. The next one that you don't want to neglect is coming over here and doing the uh, token market challenge. Now for Fred Hoiberg, 25 three-pointers, 40 assists with Ron Harper, 125 points with Eddie Jones, and 20 blocks with the Kevin Mutombo. You can see I have a thousand tokens. I made sure to grind that to make sure I can get to Kevin Mutombo, but don't neglect the token market you know, rewards. These are obviously going to be a little bit um, expensive for some people, but they're definitely um, something to look at um, out here. You can see in the uh, token market, it's taking a little bit. Uh, we have the Kevin Mutombo. I'm just going to go ahead and redeem him because that's the card that I got my 1,000 tokens for. Uh, so you can get the Kevin Mutombo and have a good time with him um, and get 20 blocks. But then there's also the Galaxy Opals in here like uh, Eddie Johnson. That's under 750. So obviously you're going to need a lot of tokens to be doing all these challenges. But if you have them, I would think about it. Um, and then there's also a pink diamond in here, if I'm not mistaken, in Ron Harper, which is, you know, pretty fun. You can pick up Ron Harper there. Um, and then the last, there's a diamond, I think, in Amethyst. Um, the diamond is our wonderful man, Fred. Actually, it might just be Fred Hoiberg is the last one. I don't think there's actually a new Amethyst, unless I'm tripping. We'll just, we'll take a double check. Yeah, just uh, Ron Harper, which means if you wanted to do all those challenges, you need 1,960 tokens. Obviously, most of you guys don't have it. But if you, you know, have some tokens... Um, definitely pick up some of these guys, especially the Opal, Eddie Johnson, or Dark Matter Dikembe, just because that's 5,000 XP um, tied to those guys. So it's just always going to be a good uh, idea to do that. And if you were somebody that finished um, the Unlimited Showdown tier, 
you can go ahead and uh, you know redeem your thing and get 15,000 XP as well as 25 tokens. Obviously, most of us haven't done it, including myself. I played five, I think, unlimited games last season for a three and two record and call it a day. Um, it's just not my cup of tea. But if you did that, you can go ahead and do it. And I'm pretty sure if you weren't somebody that finished the um, showdown tier, you actually won't be able to get Josh Giddy on day one. Uh, but for most people, this is going to take at least two to three days of grinding, you know, at least a solid 24 hours of actual in-game time, uh, which is not available for most people. But what I recommend is just do these as they come. Make sure you're doing all the zero gravity and other promo packs that drop. Make sure you're staying tuned for the Tuesday content and just getting any XP that you can. And don't forget about these weekend warrior and those daily challenges. And eventually you'll get that level 40 Josh Giddy in no time. So if you guys did enjoy this video, found it forward, put the like button down below. Subscribe if you guys are new to the channel and comment down below what you guys think. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I will see you later for some gameplays.